So Paul is compelled. He's compelled to go to Jerusalem. He says, I don't know what's going to happen there, except that the Holy Spirit testifies in every city, saying that chains and tribulations await me. You know, God is a loving Heavenly Father, but He is not an overprotective parent that has us tied to His apron strings. And I, and I hope you can get this. Yes, God loves us. He cares for us. He will protect us. But also, when, when He knows that we are mature enough, when He knows we're strong enough and He can trust us, He will send us to places. He sent Paul right into the mouth of the lion. He sent Paul to Jerusalem where, where he was mobbed, where he was turned over to the Romans. Because you see, we, feel in a, we live in a fallen, sinful world. And Jesus said, Behold, I send you forth as sheep among wolves. Be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. And so he sends us sometimes forth in the midst of wolves. Why? Because he knows he can trust us and he needs us to share his word with this world in which we live. And so Paul, but, but God lets him know there's going to be some trouble, Paul, in this mission. Paul, I'm so glad that I can count on you, Paul. I'm so glad, Paul, that you're not a, a wimp, that you're not a snowflake, that I can send you, Paul, into the most excruciating situations, and I can count on you, Paul, to be faithful and speak my word. Oh, folks, are there some Pauls, male or female, could be either one, but I'm talking about the character. Are there some Pauls out there that God can say, hey, I'm so thankful that you're my child, so thankful that you've grown up, you're not a snowflake, you're not a wimp, and I can trust you, I can send you anywhere in this world to be my voice, and I can count on you. Oh, may we be those kinds of people today. Those kind of people will change America and the world. 